Alaska is kind of wild west, you know? I mean, everybody has their thing that they're proud of from where they come from. Ours is the wilderness and the animals and the toughness. My name is Libby Riddles. I've lived in Alaska for over 40 years. I was the first woman to win the Iditarod in 1985. Alaskan Huskies, they live to run. Gosh, you watch them just taking off and it's like, wow, what an adventure, you know? There's nothing really like it. So when I went into the 1985 Iditarod, I was living in an Eskimo village, 300 people, and we're racing against these big sponsored teams. And I was a total unknown. So about midway through the race uh, on the Yukon River, it was the coldest I'd practically ever mushed in, you know, that 60 below still calm of the interior. And that's where I kind of made my move. I was in first place then. I got to the village of Shaktulik, and it was really getting windy and stormy. And I'm thinking, people die out in these blizzards. But I've camped out in storms before. I know what I'm doing. My dog team's ready to do it. Let's go for it. When I left that checkpoint, I was like, what are you doing, Miss Riddles? This is really bad, you know, because you couldn't see from marker to marker. I mean, you could go through bad ice. So I had to have really a lot of trust in my dogs. I'm not scared or anything. I'm just surviving. I was out there for 24 hours, and all over the state of Alaska, people were like, where is Libby? What's going on? And the mushers are back in the checkpoint in Shack Tulik eating hotcakes and going, God, I wonder if she's still alive out there. Nobody left Shack Tulik the next morning till late because they're having hotcakes and looking at the weather and stuff. I had been sleeping in my sled, so I got up early. Oh, when I did make it over to the other side, I was thinking, I'm going to kiss the snowbank. I'm never going out on the sea ice again. I was so happy. Her bold move turned the rest of the race into a 170-mile victory lap as Riddles cruised to Nome and into the history books. I had never dreamed past the finish line. I had no idea it was going to be a big deal like it was, you know, like a woman winning it. Of course women are tough. Everybody knows that, you know. I still have to pinch myself sometimes because I think anybody who finishes it has just accomplished something amazing. I still have 20 dogs. I don't race anymore, but I run dogs all winter. And then for 16 years, I've been coming down here and sharing these stories with passengers for Princess Cruises. We're proud of these things that are part of our heritage, you know, like driving a dog team a thousand miles through Alaska in the middle of the winter. That's part of what makes us different. And I, I want to give people an authentic experience and to know that Alaska's still wild and we like it like that. And if you come to Alaska, don't miss the sled dogs. <laughs>